So hello and welcome to a PASCOM training video. Uh, the topic of today's video is the PASCOM client profiles. It's a new feature that we've brought out. It's a presence management tool. And before we go into you know, showing you exactly all it is and everything that you can do with it, uh, it's important to understand how the situation is like now, um, what you can do with presence management and so on, uh, before we go into what the profiles actually do and how you can customize everything to be a real personal, individual sort of tool for you to manage your call flows and everything you need to do, regardless of where you're working, what your situation is, holiday, home office, and so on and so on. So, Matthias, where do we start? With the past. With the past, <laughs> okay. Okay, what, what, did we, uh, what did we have? Uh, we had the follow me system mm -hmm. for a very long time, for years now. Yep. What is the follow me system? You can configure all your devices, when should they be available, uh, which type of device, in which situation. But it was a manual process. You had to go to the settings, choose the device, say for internal calls I'm available, for external, for uh, groups I'm available, but not on my mobile, and this is, and so on. You mm -hmm. could have done all of that in the past already with the follow me system. But per hand. Per hand, and it took, yeah, not ages, but a bit. It was annoying for anybody who had to change uh, workplaces often, yes. uh, you know, going, switching between office and home office or different locations. If you don't use our mobile only um, yeah. approach, yeah. then yes. But even then, with mobile only, there's times where you want to have your soft phone turned on and not yes. your mobile and yes. so on. So, so this was the one, one mm -hmm. thing we had already. Yep. So log into Teams, log out of Teams, uh, change the follow me system, change the uh, redirection you set, yep. things like that. Um, it's it was all there. And then there was the presence you could change. But it was just a, also a manual process mm -hmm. and it did nothing really. So you could tell the others, I'm available, I'm not available, but just textual and yep. with an icon, yep. one, exactly. which was d, &D <laughs> or not d, d So it worked. Mm -hmm. Somehow you could say, I'm uh, busy, please don't disturb me. And others would see that, and if you have uh, kind colleagues, then <laughs> <laughs> they would do so and follow this uh, Yeah, but advice. if you hadn't logged out of a call queue, you'd still yes. get the call. Yes. Yeah. So now we somehow, they two, these two features married somehow, okay. and it's now one feature, and you can have it all in profiles. And we ship two default profiles, mm -hmm. I show you what they do, and then I can show you how to enhance it and change it to your needs. Right, let's take a look. Okay, what we now have is here an available profile as before and the D&D profile. But now what is the difference? If I change to D&D, it shows this to my uh, colleague James, but it also changes my follow me system and turns off all of my devices mm -hmm. per default. So the two default profiles are very simple. The D&D disables all my phones and the available enables all my phones. So what's the difference between this and how it was before? Because I mean, D&D &D to me says, do not disturb, turn yes. everything off. Yes, uh, in the past it was like just an information, a visual information, mm -hmm. but it did not turn off um, the phones. You had to go to your follow me system and do it manually. Mm -hmm. Now it does this automatically for you. The problem is, or trouble is, if you ask three people, mm -hmm. what is D&D for you? How should it work? Then you get four different answers. Yeah, one will say everything off, one will say everything off apart from my mobile, and so on and so on and so on. Yes, only for internal calls because they may be important, uh, something like this. Exactly. So this is the default, this is what we ship, but mm -hmm. now you can configure whatever you like to your profiles. Cool, let's take a look. Yes, uh, here you go to the settings. If you are interested, in what are the default profiles doing. You can go to this uh, sign here and you see um, how they are configured, which symbol they use, which color, and which actions. The only action here in this profile is that we uh, change all the um, default uh, phones to available, mm -hmm. or uh, in the other instance, we set all your phones to deactivate it. You cannot change this because it's the server profile, but it's not a problem to create your own new profiles. Okay, but it's good to note that as a server profile, you can't edit it before people get confused as to yes. what's going on. Yes. Right, so how do we then go about adding our own profile to suit our needs? You click on add. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. And uh, a very 
good case maybe is a profile for uh, coffee, let's say. Like so. And I want a symbol and a color. So maybe I use... Yellow break. Yellow for mm -hmm. the break, okay. And then I use a symbol. Thank God we have coffee and tea available. Yep. Mm -hmm. so the, for the, you, the, James, the English good. one got upset. Yes, yes. <laughs> so here is the coffee icon. And here is a special switch I want to explain. And it says, make icon visible to other users. Mm -hmm. What does this mean? Um, if you switch to D&D, for instance, you get this special sign that you are, don't want to be disturbed. Okay. And you mm -hmm. can choose here, do I want to show all the others my coffee cup or not, in this case. Uh -huh. okay. um, sometimes, maybe you want your own available profile, which is different from mm -hmm. the server available profile, and you don't want to show everybody a sign that you are available, because yeah. no sign means you are available. Yeah. And then you can say, no, don't distribute this icon. You will see it. Mm -hmm. um, but all the others, no. Gotcha, okay, good. So that's it so far. And I can save it. And this is the easiest case I now, uh, I now uh, show how this works. It's just for information now. So it does nothing, but I can choose coffee and you can see that James can see that I'm now the coffee break. Mm -hmm. But to spice things up, we can introduce the actions now. Profile here, and now I can add an action. And here I can do whatever I want. I can add an action, and you can see I have lots of actions, and we will also enhance this, so there will be, uh, be more and more actions available in the near future. But you can do already a lot, like change the follow me system, like log in, log off from your teams, pause your team, set your workplace, set a redirection, whatever. Mm -hmm. So uh this is an easy case. I just changed the follow me system uh, for all devices, for special device types, or for a single device. In my case, I just, because it's easy, say all devices, I want to turn them all off. And that's it, basically. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. So now when I go to the coffee break, it turns off all my phones. Yeah. I can add multiple actions mm -hmm. if needed. Maybe I can say, and if I'm logged into a team, log out as well. It's not so, it, normally if you just deactivate your phone, they will not ring, even if there is a team call. Yeah. But your colleagues see then that you are locked off the team. Okay. And maybe mm -hmm. then there are some rules if uh, you're not locked on and so on. Cool and so overflows forth. and this, that yes. and the other. Okay, yeah, so it's important that, I mean, to understand that you can build sort of a chain of actions together, but what's also important to understand is what order are they implemented in? Yes, it goes from the first to the last. Mm -hmm. So you can do things like deactivate all of my phones, but then a next action enable my mobile. Okay. And then it's not hard to understand yeah, which I'm using now. And if I'm coming from this profile, then there may be other devices enabled, just all and then enable whatever you want, and then you're safe. Yeah, so for example, in the coffee break, it could be the case that I say deactivate all my phones, and then I put another action saying, okay, but allow internal, external calls on my mobile. Yes. Um, but not team calls or queue calls, yes. because, you know, queue calls are normally a new customer. I don't want to be talking to them yes. when I'm having a coffee, but other yes. people, it's okay. <laughs> yes, yes, you said this. <laughs> so it, it is highly flexible. You can do a lot with it. It's extremely powerful, um, and there's more to come. What else is to come? Yes. So first, before we talk about what else is coming, is there are two action types. True. You, you yeah. can have the one when you enter the profile, mm -hmm. and you can have some when you leave the profile. That's important to understand. So it's how your preference is. You could say, I'm just using entering the profile. Then I say, if I enter it, I do this, that, and I don't know. And if I go to the other profile, it changes what is needed for the other profile. Yeah. But I can do another approach that I say, if I leave this profile, maybe I do something special. I okay. change a redirection, I add me to a team, whatever. Okay. But don't get too crazy. For the start, maybe it's a good idea mm -hmm. to just use actions if you enter a profile. Yeah, there is a case to say here that actually is, you need to get used to these. Yes. Uh, because it is a bit different. and. 
by switching in between profiles, if you switch to one that hasn't actually got anything really configured behind it, um, you could end up being not available, but actually visibly yes, available. because you disabled everything mm -hmm. and then you did nothing in another yeah. uh, profile and then it's still disabled. Yeah, so it's, it's worth you know playing around, getting used to it, seeing what works for you, and then really building a set of profiles that work exactly for how you actually work best. Um, but on that note, the next thing that's going to come. Yes. The next thing which is implemented is triggers. Maybe if you watch this video, it's all already implemented. So um, triggers is something now you are switching the profile manually. You say, mm -hmm. I'm in a meeting, I'm in the home office, now good night, I'm going okay. home. Okay. Um, but in the future, in the near future, you have triggers. A trigger could be like timing mm -hmm. trigger. You yep. could say like, like uh, I go home at 18 o'clock, mm -hmm. so switch to my good night profile or something like that, whatever, yeah. mm -hmm. whatever. So this is one kind of trigger. Then there is a trigger for my calendar entry. That's so, a cool one. Yes, I'm in the meeting or mm -hmm. there will be triggers for I'm using an other software currently with my headset. Uh -huh. um, I will not name the other software, but some yeah. other softwares are could available. Be could, yeah. be <laughs> could be the case. Could be the case. And uh, you could also have this as a trigger. So expect a lot more to come in terms of more actions and more different triggers. And I think um, this is really convenient because you have now one switch where you can do everything you need and you can customize your client completely mm -hmm. to your needs. Yeah, I just wanted to That's say, right. I mean, in the past, it's been a lot of, you know, have to do a lot of clicking underneath the hood and uh, doing stuff yeah. every time your needs or requirements change. Now you can think about what your requirements actually are once, configure it all, and then simply switch in between the two of them, or the three of them, or the four of them. On mine, I've got maybe five. I'm not sure exactly how many I've got because I've got trade shows and all this kind of stuff yes, as well. Yes. Um, so you can really adapt it according to your needs, how you work, where you work, and all this stuff. Um, so it's really powerful. There is more to come, and we're really excited, and we hope that you enjoy it. Uh, let us know your feedback, but if you need any more information about it, check out our documentation. There's a full detailed uh, setup guide in the documentation, and there's also some example uh, information in our blog um, on how to configure a home office setup or meeting setup uh, for profiles and so on. So both those are worth looking at. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Goodbye.